Greetings, families. Welcome back. I hope you are well. I hope your day is good. This video is a mystery video. It's a video about our ancestors. You know, nowadays, Burkina Faso is promoting uh, tourism. Just by what is going on, they want people to come there, have fun, learn a lot. And as they were in China, they told the Chinese that they are going to do um, something with Chinese people. They are going to exchange culture, so they are exploring more. The culture secretary or culture minister, sorry, is busy, just like the agriculture minister. He's touring a lot of places to find out what is going on. This place is amazing. It will surprise you. Please listen. I'll be back. Thank you, families. On day two of a week in Asafane, the adventure continues this time with the discovery and tourism of the local cultural treasures. These include Fika, the mysterious commune, and the Tom Royal. Immersion in these historic places with Musa Od at the foot of this natural elevation, these resourceful people set off to discover the canton's largest refuge, the Fiac. Climbing is somewhat exhausting but the delegate of the head of his family's land who leads the pedestrian ascent is an abuse of it. After about 10 minutes of physical effort, here was the cave that would serve as a hiding place for the entire population of his family in case of danger. And the danger is a big boa inside, whose mission is to dispel it. A boa you won't see. For reasons of secrecy, the reptile acts as chief of staff of the canton's armies. He is vested with the almighty authority to save his fanny in the event of an external attack. In addition to being a refuge for everything, today's camp is a sacrificial place for people in search of health, fertility or social advancement. Of it, yeah, there's a cave that can hold the entire saffron population. It's not even going to fill up those who suffer from sterility. They can come here and ask and the cave can grant their wishes when you come. So there were car tracks, these are people who come to consult and at the grotto level and their wishes are granted here. It's strictly forbidden to fire a shot, as Fiequent is the refuge and symbol of tranquility. Camp isn't the only site with unique fanae. Here we are at the Royal Family Cemetery in Massaber. Or the Royal Quarter. When we look at the first tomb, it's the Massage Tomb. Suleiman was the first Canton chief. The grave over there is his mother's grave. Next, this grave is one of his children. Next to this world of ancestors that rubs shoulders with the world of the living, a vestibule charged with symbolism, is the chief's barrow or throne. On the wall, small elevations that look like decoration. Nor is it a mural. Each dot represents the very first hair and navel of a local son. A practice to always bring mass descendants to Soleiman or recourse to the source. Every officiant of the neighborhood, every sere, when he is born his first hair, we remove and in addition the navel, we mix it together mixed with the earth and we come to stick here, even if the person is outside. Thousands of hairs that are there right now. Some have already fallen, and we've added more. Another symbol of royalty in the canton of Safane, this gigantic square is said to have been the seat of the very first canton chief. The massacre. And a seat of rest and entertainment for the royal authority. And here's his family's very first well, a source of untapped water outie of his elders as to why his fanny is a den of tourist and cultural sites. From the Mahone Loop region. The history attached to this place is so wonderful. Wow. I, <laughs> Africa, we are blessed. We just don't know that we are blessed. We are blessed with a lot of things. Anyway, credit to our TB for sharing this with us. I don't know what you are thinking about this because, well, it's an amazing place, especially the whole that they went through it and they said it can keep a lot of people. And also, your wishes can come true when you are standing there 
I hope as they are standing there, they are praying for our leaders so their wishes will come true with faith. I'm praying when I was watching so our ancestors will protect this, our three leaders, because we need that. We need that more than ever. And the video I just posted, it says that it is a school. AES is a school that Africans should learn from their light shining on Africa and we should imitate or Africa should imitate that which is great. So we want them to live longer, to be healthy, to be protected. We need everything that we can do for them to be protected. So families that are in Burkina Faso, go there and pray wherever you are. Just pray or watch it and pray with faith. Whenever I'm in Burkina Faso, I will look for that place and go and see because it's amazing. You know, when we were growing, if they shave our hair, because during those days, you can't keep your hair, you can't plait your hair to go to school. They have to shave your hair. I remember my mom or my dad, they used to put it in something and they will wrap it. They don't let people pick in hairs like that. And they will go and plant it somewhere or hide it somewhere under a tree or somewhere. Now I understand why they are doing that. So when a baby is born, they shave the baby and put it on the wall. Wow. We learn every day. It's amazing. It's a great place to, to visit. Yes, so they are sharing it with us. I'll be back with another video. I'll be back. See you soon, families. My returning, my new ones, those who are passing by. God bless you all, my kings and queens, my VIPs. Thank you. God bless you. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.